Well, hey there everyone, Rapid here, and welcome back, or to, if this is your first visit to the channel, uh, Nostalgia Gaming Retro presents Tales from the Script. And with this series what we're planning to do is have a series of games that we've never played before that fit the theme for like scary, spooky, creepy, anything basically horrific right things things that fit the theme for this particular month of the year and uh, yeah these are pretty much games I've never played before or I've never played before but have maybe picked up from likes of Steam whatever uh, this one is also free almost home now uh, this is the second in the long list of games that I have been playing and it's quite a short one uh, this is a game I from what I gather it's a game based on the perspectives of one one little girl, one young girl, who is walking home alone at night. She's trying to get home either way, and yeah, this is uh, taken from her perspective and the fears that uh, kind of envelop you when you're taking that trip home in the dark. So, without further ado, uh, let's get into it. This is almost home. Now, got my sandwich now, it's time to head home. Okay, so, yeah, she's at a shop. She's at a shop. Ah, okay, we've got tank controls. Very similar to Resident Evil. It is pretty much a Resident Evil thing. Uh, can we, uh, can we run? Can we, uh, do anything? Nope, all we can do is walk. Seemingly, we can just walk. That's, uh, fair enough. So, I didn't realise it's this late and dark. I'm getting, okay, so it's a shop. She's come out of a shop and she's going home. She didn't realise it was this dark, this late. There's nobody around, which is creepy enough. That's, that's one thing. I'll maybe move my mouse out of the way so I can see it in the corner there. What the shit was that? Okay. Is that a... I heard a can, like, getting kicked or something, and then, like, a scream or a whistle or something. Maybe, I think that's just part of the the music, the atmosphere, but, yeah, I can feel, you can get the, the sense that this is, uh, oh, oh, we're being watched. I feel uncomfortable, ominous. Yeah, we are definitely being watched. There's something keeping an eye out, keeping an eye on us. Oh, what the sh... It's, the pu it's this puppy again. It likes barking at people. I'm not going to lie, that kind of... I wasn't expecting that. That kind of did almost make me jump. I'm guessing this is the right way. Can we go that... Can we go this way? It's hard to kind of see. There's flickering lights over here. I don't know what, like, rests over here. We probably shouldn't go this way. I'm going the wrong way, I need to go through the park. Right, okay, well that's... The light's just shut off completely now, so... Yeah, let's not go that way. Got to admit though, this is doing pretty well in jump scares so far. Are those some kind of holes in the ground? <clears throat> well... If they weren't there before, and it's strange... Those holes weren't there before... They look unnatural. I just, I, I pretty much just said that. Oh, what's that? What's that little red thing there? Can we, uh... It's disappeared now. What was that? You guys saw that too, right? There was a little red... Uh... I'm struggling to see it myself. All oh, right, okay, there you are. You're just off screen. I hope nothing jumps out the holes and tries to attack me, because I've got no weapons and seemingly I can't run. Okay, uh, seemingly we are... A fallen tree, I have to find another way. Okay, fine, we've come the wrong way. Well, there's no signs or nothing to tell you which way to go, but I guess that's the point. I guess that's the point here. Yep, 
Yeah, they. The ship was that. The uh, the ambience and music and everything it's just <clears throat> it really sets the mood. Um, does a good job. I feel like I'm ready for it. Anything to come out now. But how we're going to tackle it, I do not know. I can almost see something moving in the holes. Well, that doesn't fill me with confidence. I need to get through here quickly. Can you run? Is that is that something that you know how to do? Am I not am I not doing something right? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I'm, I think I've tried every but. Oh, what the shit? No, I didn't like that. There's something in the grass or in the bushes or something. I'm not. I ain't gonna turn back. Whoa, it's dark here. No shit. I should close my eyes and let them adjust. I think you should. Okay, so if you stop moving. I think. Unless that's just an actual thing. It does, it allows your eyes to adjust. What's down here? Can we go down here? Is this where we came back from? I think this is where we came from, right? So we should just go this way. It's hard to tell when it was all dark like that. It was hard to tell. You know, just a word of advice. If you're ever going to go on a trip like this again, carry a flashlight or something with you. Oh, what was that? What was that? I saw like a, a marking of a of a body on the ground. I hear water nearby. So that's something. And somebody walking in the grass. Or on the leaves. I don't like this. Why is the water red? The smell is making me sick. Why is the water red? Is it water? Is it blood? What's going on? What is going on? Where do you live? Like seriously, how far away is your house? And why... The shit? Home isn't much further. Uh, well, I hope not. I sincerely hope not. Oh, what the fuck? What the shit? Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Almost home now. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Oh, what the shit? What the shit? What, what, what is this? Is this your home? Did we make it? Is that it? Thanks for playing Almost Home. Wow. Wow. Okay. That was... Uh, that definitely got me at the end, I have to say. Um, and it does give you, like, a kind of perspective on, like, something, like, you know, real life. It's like a real life subject where, you know, you always have that feeling that you're being followed home. Um, it can play on the mind, and, and and this is a great representation of that. Um, I wonder if that was a real thing or just a manifestation. I wonder if it's worth maybe looking at to see, you know, if if something can catch up to you and, and grab you. Let's see. Okay, so here we are again, grabbing a sandwich from the shop and walking home. Obviously, this time I'm out to see what happens when you do get caught. I'm not going to read this all again because, you know, it's the same as before, but um, I'll, I'll, obviously if there's something new to read, then I'll read it, but yeah. There we go, there's that can, then there'll be the dog. Unless, you know, playing it a second time, there's new things. Yeah, we're going to try walking on the path up here now.
so for a short game, it certainly does its job in creating, creating the atmosphere. Oh, I'm walking into a bush. Uh, there's a puppy again, obviously, yep. I'll see if I can try and go the right way this time. I know we took a couple of wrong turns earlier. Um, but we'll get through it a little quicker. Yeah, that's the other thing. I don't... It doesn't explain that the holes in the ground. I don't know what that is all about. Is there some kind of demonic force? Is this something that is... Is real? Is it all or is it all in our head? I also find it strange how there's not a single person other than you that's walking home around. But I guess that is the point in it, obviously. Okay, so apparently, yeah, you, it does go dark for a second. Just so you can adjust your eyes. Okay, that's fine. Can we go this way, though? We never tried this way the last time. No, okay. No, you can't. Right, fine. I'd be smart about it. I'd like carry a weapon and a flashlight, you know. Nowadays you have torches on phones that you can activate. Plus, you have phones so you can call someone, <laughs> I guess, if you've got good reception. But what was that about as well? You know, like the, the kind of vision of... I don't know if it was like a, a girl, other victims in the past. The one that was kind of bobbing up from side to side as you were trying to get home, that kind of demonic figure, or ghostly figure even. Is that previous victims or is that the thing that's trying to catch you? I, I, I don't know. So many, so many questions. I guess we have just got to go ahead and find out. Okay, here we go. We need to prepare ourselves. As soon as we hit the bottom of these steps, that's it. Okay, here we go. First of all, let's see if we can be grabbed by this thing. It looks like... It looks like children, like other girls and stuff. You know, like they've got pigtails or whatever. Is it pigtails? Plets? We're going to get caught on purpose. Let's see what happens. Ah. Well, here's the thing. Why does it look like we're back in the forest again? We came out of the forest. Okay, seemingly there's nothing we can do. That's the image we're left with. But that's the other side of what happens when you do get caught. I don't know if there's any other endings to this. I, I doubt it, being such a short game. But <clears throat> you can see what happens uh, when you make it and when you don't. And that body, the outline of the body that we kept walking over as we were walking up the path... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to symbolise, you know, your body, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, almost home, and I almost crapped my pants, uh, it was a good attempt, um, good game, also free on Steam, and, yeah, definitely check it out, people, um, thanks for watching. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe if you want to see more content from us here at Nostalgia Given Retro, hit the notification bell as well to be notified to when the next video does go up or when we go live, and I will see you for the next one. Stay cool.